And I must say, it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue. Craven Cottage by the banks of the Thames. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It is Fulham up against Portsmouth. Hi, Derek, thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to start off the game really quickly. Really attack the opposition, put them on the back foot, see what comes of that. Hopefully we get a good game. And this is the team Fulham have selected. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Well, let's dissect the Portsmouth starting 11. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected Thank to support, you, but also defend and help out the centre backs. It's with Onguisa. Tom Kearney. Iannaccio. Iannaccio. And a chance for them to nudge in front. And that was a heaven-sent opportunity to take the lead so early. First goal is so important, Derek. Sometimes you're not ready. Well, you really must be ready this early in the game. Close on the ball. Collins. Esposito. Close on the ball. Really a very poor ball. Ben Close. Dembele. Well, it was a very good looking move, but alas, no end product. Ben Close. What can he do from here? An attack full of promise. I believe there's been a goal in the Norwich game. Alan? It's a goal for Norwich City. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. Given away. And it's with Curtis. Close on the ball. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Esposito, firing it towards goal. Can they put it away? A goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, that's like the other end, the striker putting it in the net. The goalkeeper has to keep it out, and what a brilliant way to do it. He has time to play it over. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Corner once more. He's driven in the corner. Well, that's the end of that for now. And that came off the defender, so it'll be a corner. Little variation on the usual theme. Short, cutting the ball back. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Tom Kearney. Now, let's 
let's see what they can do here alert defending Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Portsmouth dominating possession in the last... They could nudge in front. It's still alive. Elects to go short. Close on the ball. Crossed into the penalty area. Still alive. And very deftly cut out. And scope for the cross. Well, that's a splendid piece of challenging. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Curtis, and options in the centre. And clears his lines. Tom Kearney. It's with Onguisa. Not what he was intending, bad pass. It might be on for them. Untidy in possession. And on the ball, Kearney. Ivan Cavaleiro. Sangare. It's with Sevi. It's all about translating threats into goals. The chance is on. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, Derek, it was a good delivery into the box. But you have to question the defending there. They simply don't react quickly enough. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Dembele close on the ball and putting his body on the line he's given it straight to the opposition chance to attack using wit crossing possibilities cutting infield here surely wonderful block Esposito Curtis might really be able to trouble them here firing it towards goal tremendous block it's with Sevi we've had the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes now can they counter clinically Onguisa Iannaccio and it's a quality pass and the whistle is sounded for as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Esposito After that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Ben Close. Esposito. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Fulham have not had too much of the ball, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them. And with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. 
Now he must favour the cross. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Perfectly fair tackle, and it will be a corner. Taken short. Cutting the ball back. Seri. And in possession, Cavaleiro. Oh, a vital interception. And news of a goal, and attempting the through ball. It has to be. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. Giving it a try. Well, body in the way. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. To confirm, Cardiff have scored in that game, but still on the wrong end of the scoreline, trailing 2-1. The thrills and spills of championship action. Join us for this one live on EA TV. It's Fulham facing Wigan Athletic. Yeah, that looks a great matchup, doesn't it? Looking forward to some fast flowing football there. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Portsmouth against Charlton Athletic. Yeah, atmospheres make games, Derek, and that should be an absolute belter. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. And a change to the scoreline at Carrow Road. There's been a goal there. Alan McAnally can fill us in on it. It's a third goal for Norwich City. 60 minutes played. 3 1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we've been wondering for a while now, would it happen for Manchester United? Now it has happened on the transfer front, Lee. Well, it's a reported fee of around £45 million, pounds, Derek. He's def it's there for him. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training. First time, bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it. Technique, brilliant. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, the manager must be delighted with his team after they showed that attitude to get back into this top stuff. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Guisa Esposito Oh, stylish ball What can they do now? Might really be able to trouble them here A good and fair challenge We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Looking to set the tape. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he's kept that out of the net. Absolutely amazing. Collins. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And that's an important intervention. Well, it's been a frustrating day for these fans. They want a goal. They're urging their team on to attack. Ben Close. Esposito. Playing with purpose and control. Well, it might still work out for them. Time for us to get an update on the Forest game. I hear there's been a goal on that match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. It's been scored by Sami Amiobi. A great break. Down the right, and he made up ground to arrive on the edge of the area in time to steer the pullback 
Past the keeper. 79 minutes played. 1 0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Just 10 minutes to go. He's going forward well here. And the decision is one of offside here. Ben Close. And that was a very fine read. I must say, this looks promising. It's with Sebi. Sebi. And Iheacho has it. Well, it was never going to worry the keeper. Well, no wonder he's looking a little bit sheepishly at his teammates. Head in a hand sort of moment. Close on the ball. That's how to rob them of possession. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And good work to deny the chance. What can they do from this corner? The minutes ticking away in this game. So the corner played into the box. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross, and he gets up well, and it's just wide. <laughs> and the referee is going to add on three minutes. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Surely! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Back from the byline. Superb piece of goalkeeping to prevent them from falling behind. Oh, top keeping that is. Top, top keeping. Well done. Attending to his defensive chores. And the referee says that.